What is happening guys? Cowboy here and we're ready to continue. So checked out my two new arts, already worked those in. Uh, we have Soaring Dragon, combination of flaming kicks to send the enemy into the air. Um, so we're going to go Fang into Dragon, into that, into Slag Assault. We'll see how that works. Uh, I may end up going Mega Sonic Slag Assault, Avalanche, Soaring Dragon, depending on how that works out. Um, and then we got rid of our water move here that went into Moonlight Cyclone to Twin Whip. Instead, we're going Cyclone into Swallow Dance, Water Snake's Wake into Rising Falcon. So it's more of a win combo, but um, I have a lot of water damage coming out with the, the party as is anyway, so I'm not that concerned oh, with it. Miss me that much, did you? Uh, Expedition. Anyway, let's get out of here, get back to the town. I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to just walk out of here. Like, shit's probably going to happen. That's pretty sweet, uh, to kick up into the air. We're finished here. Didn't even get to do my other do. That spin up kick though, that looked fucking awesome. So there's the grade bonus. That's a pretty long meter. I figured it was gonna be like you got ten seconds. Like that meter is just very slowly ticking along. Ooh, what the fuck? Not good. The malevolence is getting stronger. I my. The effects are already starting to show. Yeah, this don't look good at all. What's gonna happen to the village? Are we ready for this? Right, let's try this. Oh, that was badass! Flipped up into the air. Boom! I like that a lot. Actually, I think that combination might work better going Sonic Thrust, Slag Assault, Avalanche, Soaring Dragon. I guess Sonic Thrust was that. Soaring Dragon. Let's try that. The question is if I knock them back too far to execute the move. I did. This fight is over. about to break out and just wreck a whole village. Oh, hell no. We ain't doing all this. Teleport straight to Haria East Entrance, but I can use that. It's right up ahead and I can grab some cats along the way. So I'm like, I'm not going through this goddamn reef again. <laughs> place takes ages. Not as long as that underground cavern. At least the music's kind of catchy here, but still, it's just a hell of a long read. Western Monad read. Oh, yeah. Give me all the 
shortcuts. I really hope the whole village isn't like turning into demons. I don't need to go this way, but I feel obligated to grab these stupid fucking shiny orbs that help me unlock cosmetic objects. Did you come to share something else you found in that book? Not quite. I'm afraid the malevolence has grown too dense for me to hole up at the inn reading. Malevolence? <laughs> the hell? What's that coming out of their bodies? Malevolence. They're all hitting their limits. Demons now. Their malevolence is spilling over. The malevolence? All of that energy spilling from their bodies? That's what causes the demon blight? Do you know what demon blight really is? What demons are? They couldn't have gotten far! Track him down at all costs! We'll talk later. The exorcists are going to have their hands full with these demons. Let's get back to the ship while we can. So I wonder if the Therium was like... a focal point or something? Because I mean, Therians can devour... Demon Blight. We know that. I mean, we've seen Velvet do it. I can just run into salt, I guess. Um. Oh, fucking. You teleport shit. But I wonder if, like, you know, they're. They're considered like the focal point. Like if that's their plan, it's, it's more than the fact that. Well, I mean, it could be a thing like Artorias knows that they're going to uh, doing this shit will raise the Nomenon, but he's just telling everyone else that like, oh, you know, we put Therians at these points because they keep demon blight in check, devouring it all. Pity or compassion from me. I got some shit like everybody is actually a demon. Like level ends just naturally makes us all demons, but the Abbey's been using Therians to keep it in check and prevent us from reaching the natural course. 
some shit like that. Notorious is using it to actually get a Nomenon because he's a punk bitch. Someone unlocks something badass. Come on, really? Giant sand tornado? No. Oh. oh wait, go to I mean the demon blade doesn't look as bad over here. We still got uh, the ominous music, but it's not like, you know, we don't see the, the black particles all over the screen and whatever. Yeah, everyone, I mean, it's a little, uh, a little cloudy out, but uh, things look pretty chill around here. I feel like there's no way I'm actually just gonna be able to just dip out and get on the boat and leave. Like, some shit's gonna go down. That would be too, way too convenient. Especially because the music is still, like, basically Jaws music play. Like, shit is gonna happen. Where are we going? Where's my mom? She did. Kamalana. Your mother is still far away. Then I need to wait for her at home. Let's go back to Haria. Scary demons are running through the village. It's too dangerous there now. But I want to see my mom. Your mom would be sad if you got hurt by a demon. Come with us, and we'll keep you safe until she comes back. Okay, I'll go with you. I wouldn't want mom to be sad. I wonder if they were going to tell her, like, yeah, you ate your mom when you were in full demon mode. All right. You're going to tell me about the demon blight and malevolence. Are you seriously thinking of breaking the Moloch taboo? That depends. Moloch taboo? This is about more than just the demons. You could say it's the truth behind how this world really works. The knowledge can be devastating to humans, throwing into question everything they think they know. And so the Malachim agreed to withhold it from humans. For their own protection. Do you still want to know? It's not like I'm a human anymore. Not a point. I can't keep lying to myself. I can't go on unless I know the truth. You asked for it. First of all, this thing, this illness you call demon blight does not exist. Any human carries the potential of becoming a demon. All it takes is for the malevolence lurking in their heart Called to it. overflow. And what exactly is this malevolence? Impure emotions beyond what reason can suppress. Think of it as the sin buried in men's souls. So you knew. I'm a witch. 
So malevolence is the darkness in all our hearts. Make any sense to you guys? Any at all? When you put it like that, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. <sighs> by nature, humans are incited by negative energy. It is easy to turn them towards impurity, creating malevolence. In fact, most people are constantly generating malevolence. It might even be possible that demons are people's true selves, and what little reason they possess is all that keeps them in human form. All if that the too. masses realize this, the realm would be thrown into utter chaos. That's why the Abbey propagates the lie of demon blight. So I presume. That can't be true! You know yourselves there weren't any demons before the opening! It used to be that humans couldn't see demons, or Malachim. Not unless they possessed a unique spiritual talent we call resonance. All your average human would see was someone turning extremely violent. Unable to explain what was happening, they'd just call those people possessed or feral. Then what made people see them all of a sudden? I don't know. My guess would be that something triggered greater resonance among all of humanity. And then, on the day of the advent, all humans gained the ability to perceive Malachim. And in the following days, the exorcist numbers swelled. This has to be Artorius's doing. But if there's no sickness, why would an entire village turn into demons at the same time? Eight-headed is the lord of the land, with seven mouths to devour malevolence. Humans produce malevolence, which Therians consume and transmit to a Nominat. But when we removed Kamawana from the Earth Pulse point... Clever boy! That's right. With no Therian to absorb their malevolence, the villagers could no longer contain it. So you're saying it's all my fault? Uh... <sighs> hey, what's going on? You all look so sad. It's scaring me. Why does this little girl sound like she's been smoking for 40 years? On the other hand, at least now we know we can trust the contents of that ancient book. We tear the Therians away from their Earth Pulse points. Inominat's power will wane, and will prevent this awakening. But if we take away the Therians, then more and more humans will turn into demons. It's the only way to kill Artorius. Ooh, the knives come out. So even the truth won't stop you. Very well. I mean, if the truth is that humans Since are basically Since each Therian looks default, different, we'll only find them by capturing the Earth Pulse points one by one. What separates humans and demons? Um... Uh... That's Eleanor. Ch cheer up, Eleanor. Your mommy's looking over you too, you know. Yeah, so she is. Thank you, Kamoana. Grimoire, I want you to tell me more about what you said earlier. About malevolence? I told you, the subject is taboo. I understand that human emotions create a poison called malevolence that turns people into demons. Is there no way to stop malevolence from being created? As long as humans remain human, no. Malevolence is born of emotion, you see. But your kind must have found a way around it. Malachim experience emotions too. But Malachim do not produce malevolence, unlike humans. That's a lie. I've watched a Malak turn into a demon. That only happens when we are exposed to too much external malevolence. <laughs> True. The island was full of prisoners and demons. And Melchior hit that Malak with something that turned it into a wyvern. Was it malevolence? 
To Malachim, malevolence is a powerful toxin. We seek those of purity to serve as vessels to protect us from it. It is not a perfect solution, however. If the vessel is corrupted, the Moloch is as well. That is correct. So if Eleanor turns into a demon, then Lafayette, that must be what Eisen meant when he said he'd hate to see Lafayette's vessel broken. A small crack in one's soul is often all it takes to break a person apart. So try not to pick on our squeaky clean exorcist too much, hmm? Thanks for the warning. I thought we were gonna find out more about the whole, uh... The... What happens when one Therian eats another Therian thing. Sir, we just received a Sylph J from the boss of the Bloodwings. She has a job for us and wants us to meet her in Logress. How should we respond? Let's do it. Besides, we need to see if that demon in the villa was actually a Therian. Good point. And the Bloodwings might know something about the other Therians, too. We're heading for Logris. Prepare to set sail. Ready anytime! Back to Logris we go. my mother to a demon yet that girl's a Therian I I don't even know what I want anymore hey that's pretty you like to look at that thing don't you yes my mother someone very important to me gave me this I treasure it a lot Looking at it gives me strength. Do you want to see it? Yeah! Ah! What's wrong? My face! It's... it's scary! I don't want to look like that! I don't want my mommy to hate me! Mommy! <laughs> Good job, Eleanor. Make the kid cry. When I was her age, that's just how I cried. Come, Alana. I want you to see this. That huge owie. What happened? It's big and ugly, isn't it? There are scary things about my body, too. But do you think I'm scary, Kamalana? No, not at all. But are you all right? Does that hurt? Thanks, sweetie. I'm all right, I promise. What about me? Do you think I'm scary? You're such a sweetheart, Kamalana. Nobody could ever be scared of you. Not me, not your mother, not said. You don't have to cry anymore. It'll be okay, I promise. Okay. That scar, was it from a demon? Yeah. They attacked my village when I was a girl. I was so hurt, I couldn't move. But my mother lured them away from me so I could survive. What happened to her? <sighs> the last thing she said to me was... Stay strong, and keep living. Oh. Come to the deck. Grimoire says she's learned something from the book. Hey, why is your face so red? It's nothing. Somehow, I doubt that. It's nothing, I, I swear. Do you all remember the second verse of that song Lafisset read earlier? Four Empyreans may tear him asunder, but so long as there is one receptive to divine power, Therian shall be forever reborn in sight of the full crimson moon. Right. That's what I've gathered you all here to discuss. 
And we think that passage means that Inomi Notch and the Therians will be revived by a chosen one, right? Yes, but the shall be forever reborn part kept bothering me. I've reconsidered my analysis. Suppose that instead of someone being chosen by Inomi Not to create Therians, the song means that Inomi Not chooses who becomes Therians. <sighs> but so long as there is one receptive to divine power, Therians shall be forever reborn. What do you think that could mean? That someone receptive to Inominat's power will be reborn as a Therian. Like Kamoana! Which is to say that the Abbey figured out how to turn people into Therians, and then got right to work. That's... Are you really that surprised? Artorius has always been one to prioritize the many over the individual, as I well know. Another thing to consider is this wording about Therians being forever reborn. This could mean that one Therian will be reborn again and again. Or it could mean that different Therians will be born to take their place. Meaning that even if you kill one, there are more waiting in line. They can't be wiped out. Looks like prioritizing the one over the many was the right call this time, eh, Velvet? I never said I wouldn't kill her, if it would prevent Inominat's reawakening. But Therians can't be killed. Not truly. Hmm... So, in a nutshell, if you kill one, Another person who's receptive to Inominat's power will be reborn as one. Right. But the song says that seven mouths feed the body. So there's only so many around. If you don't kill them, the next ones won't be born. Exactly. So we remove the seven Therians from their Earth Pulse points instead. But then, we also have to protect them so the Abbey doesn't steal them back. Or kill them. Sounds tricky. We've got to protect my bug, too. Yeah, you take real good care of that thing now, got it? You bet I will! In that case, we should probably work on securing a proper hideout for ourselves. You got a secret base or anything, Aizen? It's every man's fantasy, but sadly, I don't. We need a hard-to-find spot. One where we can guarantee a steady supply of malevolence for the Therians. Hmm, somewhere devoid of people, but full of malevolence. Real poser you got there. With the Abbey in control of the entire continent, finding a place like that will be easier said than done. Meanwhile, Inominat's reawakening draws ever closer. We'll have to keep collecting our Therians while we search for a hideout. For now, let's just get to Logris. Why would you want them near malevolence, though? I mean, the Therians... Devour malevolence, but it's not like they. I mean, I don't think they need it to survive. Hey, old man! Give me all the water and food you got! Wait your turn, moron! I was drifting out at sea for three days! Almost died out there! Wee here, poor you! You probably deserved it! Say that again, wise ass! I dare you! Ah, uh, shut up, both of you! No one's getting anything until you pay me what you owe first. Uh, are they gonna be okay? Don't pay them any mind. Sailors are just a short-tempered bunch, that's all. Huh? The hell are you doing? What's going on? They've jacked up the price to dock our ship here. Oh yeah? Some real balls you've got there, buddy. If you lot want to more here, that's the price you're gonna pay. Look. Pirates are a liability to begin with, but calling your crew infamous these days would be putting it lightly. The more wanted you are, the more it's gonna cost to hide you. Capiche? <sighs> Hard to argue there. Benwick, just pay the man what he wants. <sighs> yes, sir. You're such pushovers. You and the captain both. I knew I could count on you to come through, Eisen. Pleasure doing business with you. I mean, dude does have a point. We're Looks like, like I'm causing you trouble. Basically, want a terrorist. It comes with the job. Don't sweat it. Some sailors just have longer tempers than others. <laughs> Noted. The map's getting filled in little by little. There's still a long way to go. It's a big world out there. Yeah. 
That's true. And a lot can happen on the waves. The far seas are unexplored territory for a reason. I'd imagine so. The seasons and the weather can change the sea completely. Oh. Do I sense a budding interest in the sea? Think you're feeling less apathetic about it now? I wouldn't say that. I was just reminded of something someone once said to me. Alright, well, we're gonna wrap things up here since we've made it back to Logris. Is this in? This way. Set that out for sale and save the game. So anyway, wrapping things up and we will catch you guys later today with more.